So it's official, I am now officially an old man. Just want to start off this video by saying a big thank you to everyone who wished me a very happy birthday. I had a great time, had a fun weekend in Chester and Manchester and even got to see Pirates of the Caribbean in IMAX, which I was more than excited about. I enjoyed it. It's definitely not as good as the first one. Nothing will actually beat the first one, but it's worth watching if you get the chance to. Anyway, today is a bank holiday Monday after my birthday. That means one, the gym shuts early, two, I'm back in work, and three, for our friends over the pond and just in America and whatnot, it is Memorial Day. Also, British summertime is officially over. We had a good run with those three days of summertime. Now we're back to the standard bleakness of wet, wet cold England again for the rest of the year. Honestly, England is probably the worst country I could think of to try and actually make videos like this due to its weather because one day it's really bright and sunny and the other one it's bleak, grey and miserable. So yeah, we have a varied climate, it's awful to film in and it's always cold and wet. Although I don't think I'm allowed to complain too much basically because this weather brings the heat down and I don't cope well in warm temperatures so anything above 4 degrees is always too warm for me. One thing I will say though is this rain makes this whole town smell amazing. I love the smell of rain. It's weird how refreshingly good the smell of rain is. I love the smell of rain, I love the smell of freshly cut grass and then also the smell just after or around the time of a thunderstorm. All amazing smells. Beautiful. Anyway, I should probably shut up about the weather because I need to get inside as quick as possible, get to the gym, and hopefully keep this camera dry because I have no idea how waterproof, weather resistant it is. Also, is it just me that gets really confused on bank holidays? Like my mind and brain don't really know what day it is anymore. I keep thinking it's a Sunday and that's the day I have off the gym to rest, but it's Monday and I'm in the gym and I'm going to work and my body is just confused. Yeah, does that affect anyone else? The weird days. Anyway, speaking of the gym, today is max effort lower and I'm continuing with my squat cycle type thing. So that means today is max effort high bar squats. I always enjoy this cycle when it gets around to one of my variations that don't involve bands because one, it's easier to set up and two, it makes the exercise slightly easier because the bands aren't trying to pull me back down to the, like earth and make it a lot harder for me. Also, I kind of enjoy high bar squats. Honestly, they're not my favorite though because obviously I'm stronger at low bar, so they're my main squats. However, high bars feel a lot more comfortable to me than front squats, and also it's an exercise that's going to target my weaknesses a little bit more, more specifically my quads. Obviously, front squats target the quads the most, and then low bar squats target your posterior chains like hamstring, back, and glutes. So high bar squats kind of are the middle ground of the three main squat variations, so they target your quads a little bit more, but also involve a little bit of lower back and glutes. The only downside to high bar squats is the fact that you have to keep a more vertical torso, much like a front squat where you have to keep a very vertical torso to keep the bar on your shoulders. High bar, you have to keep a vertical torso because if you end up leaning over, the bar is going to end up in a good morning position. It'll be over your toes and that'll be impossible to recover from. Unlike in a low bar squat, that if you end up leaned over, you can then use your glutes and back and hamstrings to pull it back into position and finish the lift. Honestly though, high bar squats are a fantastic accessory to low bar squats mostly because of the upright torso position because honestly, the more upright torso you can have, the smaller the moment arm is between the bar and your hips and in turn, that's going to make the lift easier and more mechanically advantageous to you and your body. And obviously that upright torso is going to carry on over to your low bar squats and then obviously if you get out of position in a low bar squat you can recover by using your back and hamstrings to pull it back into position. Honestly though, low bar squat is usually 95% of the time better as a competition lift when you're power lifting for most people and their leverages. <clears throat> anyway, I think that's enough rambling about low bar, high bar squat type thing. I need to get to the gym as quick as possible because I have to go to work later on and then also I need to get out of this rain because my camera's soaked, I'm soaked, and I need to get dry before starting my session. Anyway, before I go, let me just say if you have any questions about squats, high bar or low bar, or even front squats, drop me a question down below. I'll get around to answering it or even making a video on it in the near future. Anyway, I'm almost at the gym now. Hopefully I have a good session and beat the weights I got last time, which I think was 
Three plates, 140 kilos, high bar. I'd like to get a little bit more than that, but I don't want to push it too much because I have to do this exercise again next week. So yeah, wish me luck and I'll talk to you all after the gym. See you in a bit. That was a pretty decent session, although a short one as I had to wait 20 minutes, half an hour or so to get on the squat rack, as for some reason, the gym was busy. Although, session went pretty well, managed to hit 142 kilos on the squat, managed to do some back off sets at 110 kilos for a set of five, and then finished off with some accessories, which were stiff like deadlifts, and then some close stance squats again, just to target my quads, even though they were super light, but my legs, lower back, quads, and glutes are aching like crazy now. Anyway, as I said earlier, I'm in work later on, so I'm gonna rush to the shop, buy some food, go home, get changed, have a bath, not in that order, and then go to work. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Remember to drop some comments and questions below and I'll get around to answering them. Remember, as always though, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. I, 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 I,